more recent trend shows that more and more students are realizing that getting a degree doesn't determine a secure job. Oftentimes, it was sounded in our brains that when you study hard, you will definitely get a good job as a reward. But unfortunately, the reverse is the case. As most students graduate with good grades, but yet cannot secure a job. These current challenges in the issue of unemployment has posed a threat in the well-being of citizens and economy of our nation. In this present situation, it has posed serious challenges and threats to government and a great number of the citizens. This is in line with the thoughts of the Director of Entrepreneurship Education in Federal Polytechnic Bida, Mr. Ibrahim Abubakar, who bears his thoughts on the need for entrepreneurship education among students. Because government can no longer do all things for its citizens, particularly the youths. Hence, the need for an alternative way of generating income for people by people. And government decided to develop national policy on entrepreneurship on how to engage the youths upon graduation and also engage the non-working class as well encourage and support the local entrepreneurs. Nigeria, like other developing countries, are faced with a number of problems ranging from youth and graduate unemployment, high level of poverty, over dependency on foreign made goods, and lack of capacity and required skills to move the economy forward. Nigeria government, presently this our new president, President Muhammad Buhari, is really talking on agricultural and uh, entrepreneur, which we made it clear to all, to all we, we use in Nigeria that we are lazy. And I now tell myself that since this man is sounding like this, I think that we're not doing, we're not doing something, we're not putting ourselves in, um, in business or trade that much. And also let me date myself in this town, you know, so that I'll be using it and doing one of the things in school. Something like hand out. The fact is that even people that are true with their education today, because you here as I am right now, I'm not in it. Even people that are true, people that have served, that are coming back to this show as an apprentice that we're able to teach them to work. You understand? So it doesn't really matter if you're a graduate and you want to be any hand. It's very, very important for you to be yourself. You can still be working as a government worker and still have your personal business. Unemployment has become a major problem, frustrating the lives of youths and graduates, causing depression and overdependency on family members and friends. A detailed report released by the National Bureau of Statistics shows that the number of employed Nigerians rose from 17.16 million in the fourth quarter of 2017 to 20 20.9 million in third quarter of 2018. This represents a rise from the 18.8 percent in fourth quarter of 2017 to 23.1 percent in third quarter of 2018. Another 2 million are expected to be unemployed by the end of 2020. The growing population, if not because of population, wouldn't have mined ourselves. Just as I said from the beginning, the multiple stream of income demands that you must have something doing different. Government must emphasize the fact that they must see entrepreneurship as a discipline that will solve the nation's problem. With students knowing fully the saturated nature of unemployment market in the country, as they take a step to be self-employed by combining their studies and skills so as to make ends meet, the introduction of entrepreneurship education in higher institutions across the country has helped to reduce our dependency on government jobs. We need a department of entrepreneurship that will train people in entrepreneurship 
so that if the 100,000 graduates finish from entrepreneurship department, they are off the street. They are now job creators in terms of job seeker. You have reduced unemployment. Mm. But if it has to do with finishing business admin and taking certificate mm. to be looking for job around, then we're in trouble. However, this is evidence in Federal Polytechnic Bida as a good number of students engage themselves in different skills so as to be self-employed rather than waiting for government jobs after graduation. But we try to balance it, you understand? To be in a tailor and being a student is not something that's easy because you have to balance the each both sure. of them, you understand? Sometimes they will have the lecture, so I have to close down my shop. Yes. So go to the department and go and see the lecture. Then sometimes when there is no lecture, instead of me to be working now, we just play, play out. Will they just come down to shop and do one of one of two things? Because I just want to be independent. I don't like asking someone of money and I like doing things on my own. That's the main reason why I decided to do it and it's helped me a lot. Okay, yeah. Like I say, I'm a student <laughs> and I say I'm and of me. I'm a baba. I work in this shop yes, right now. Work, right? For example, now the lectures don't don't occur all day, so I, I might have lecture in the morning. So I go to lecture in the morning, then I come back, I come to shop. So anytime I have something to do in school, I leave the shop. Because well, it's the fact that I'm a student and you know, mixing entrepreneurship with uh, studies is not easy. Most of the time I go for my classes and if I come back, most of the work I've done. So I have to like start asking questions. And sometimes if I I'm, I, if I'm in the shop and I want to leave to the school, most times my boss is always not giving me that time to, to, to actually combine the boats. He, he always called me, and um, but even though I love it because um, that's actually the most disciplinary aspect of the job. You have to sacrifice one thing in order to achieve the other, and that is what I'm trying to have. Entrepreneurs among students of Federal Polytechnic BIDA has contributed to their development of skills and semi-skilled manpower for self-development as well as national development and poverty elevation. As a result of emphasis on entrepreneurship skill, the Federal Polytechnic BIDA has placed more priority to entrepreneurship with the establishment of Entrepreneurship Education Center. Then you design the timetable, the school designs the timetable so that it will suit the student. If it is going to be three times in a week that you have contact to the practical, so that when you are graduating, you are given certificate in business management (HND), you are given proficiency certificate in software entries. You have two things. Mm -hmm. When you go to government, government is not picking you. You are on your own. You begin to recruit people. Let me tell you, the best life is a private life, and that is why people will tell you that privacy is good. Privacy, no, privacy psychologically or philosophically. Is because when you are on your own, you have freedom, you are everything to yourself. You take decisions for yourself, control measures, you take it yourself, organizing, you did it yourself. So I think what I will have to say is we must design the curriculum, the timetable to suit what we really want. Skill training and entrepreneurship education makes one to be self employed and employers of labor after graduation. Such entrepreneurship skill among students of Federal Polytechnic BIDA includes fashion designing, air dressing, bag and shoe making, catering, bread making, among others. Appearing so far, our institution with other institutions. Not because I'm a director, but because I was there and I saw it. The 2018 National Workshop on Entrepreneurship Achievement in uh, MBT Kaduna, at the Federal Polytechnic Bida, among 40, 52 polytechnics in Nigeria that attended, we took second position. Mm -hmm. And the position we took was based on the impact mm -hmm. on the student, mm -hmm. meaning purely academic and practicals. So, and uh, as far as the future of our student is concerned, except Yaba Tech and IMT that is coming up now, 
Honestly, the future of our student in terms of entrepreneurship is very, very positive. And the only challenge is that of time allocated for the program itself, which has been a, an issue that is giving us headache. We don't know yet how to handle it. And this is because of the population. But I know we'll get there because we are waiting for expansion. By the time we have five calls for three trades or four trades or five trades, each trade is with its own, we'll be able to make a very wide difference. So for the future of student entrepreneurship, I don't think, both in the theory and the practical, it's a very good one. And there is positive uh, outcome at the end of it.